Hi, I'm Brenton Garren for the Beverly Hills Courier. Today I'm joined with Saha Sadri, who is representing Iran in the upcoming Miss Asia USA beauty pageant. Welcome, Saha, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Brenton, for having me. Well, maybe if you could start off by telling us a little bit about the pageant, which is going to be held on August 21 in the Orange County. Well, actually, it's a beauty cultural pageant, and I'm very excited because it celebrates the culture and background of all the Asian American cultures. And it's going to be on the 21st of August at the La Mirada Theater, and we celebrate the heritage and background of all the beautiful cultures that delegates, delegates get to bring forward, and we get to celebrate together. So what sort of prompted you to first get into pageants initially? Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Well, to be honest, as a little girl, pageants were just a dream for me. I was just like every little girl that dreamed about being a princess and watched TV and said, oh, wow, I would love to be dressed in those beautiful gowns and walking down that stage and being crowned. And honestly, I was approached by a recruiter for Miss California, and I just thought, wow, I would love to follow my dream and put past these uh, fears and doubts, and I did, and I was very proud of myself. And then I was introduced to Mr. Jimmy Sedgi, which is now my um, manager and mentor, and he recruited, for me, recruited me for Miss, Ka Miss Asia USA to be Miss Iran, and I'm very grateful for meeting him because he's actually gave me the opportunity to even follow my fantasy, which is to be an ambassador for the Persian community. And it's, it's honestly, it gives me goosebumps to even tell you this today that my dreams are coming true. Excellent. Maybe you can tell us a bit about your preparation and the lead up into this event. Well, the preparation is a lot more different than maybe what people at home might imagine it to be. It's not just um, a month before or a few days before. It's a lot more than that. It's practice. It's, it takes everything from being able to speak to different people at different places. It's also your walk, your mannerism, your table mannerism to um, who you speak to, to where you go, to what you do, to um, I mean, there's just so many details, and we're going to so many places, especially with Miss Asia USA. It's a little bit different from other pageants. It's more of an elegant pageant, um, more of a classy, where we're doing um, more cultural stuff. So uh, there's more family stuff involved, and we're doing um, lots of cultural things. So it's, it's really nice. We're doing many events. It's not just a three-day or two-day or one-day event. It's actually months and months in advance where we're doing weekly things. We're doing weekends events. We're being invited by the mayor of Los Angeles to do appearances. We're getting in, invited by different cultures to come to New Year events. And it's very flattering. It's very fun. And it's, it's quite exciting. Excellent. And what are your long-term goals that you would like to accomplish? I have many long-term goals. It's quite a long list, but I'd like to take baby steps before I walk and um, before I could run. But I actually currently have a makeup artistry company, and I'd like to turn it into a makeup line. And I definitely like to have enough power where I could influence people and I could help other people across the world. I'd like to help many people that are in need, that are hungry. I could like to go um, across the world and make appearances to give speeches and bring awareness on the Persians, of our history, of what's going on, human rights. Those are mainly my goal. And um, really, freedom in Iran is a big ultimate goal of mine. Excellent. Well, if you would like to support Saha, the pageant will be held at the La Mirada Theatre in the Orange County on August 21. For all your news, check out bhcourier.com.